we're in Syracuse, New York, talking about the cleansing power of Christian hope. Remember I talked about how good a hot shower feels, how good it feels? I feel that way after confession. I've told you, I can go into confession and come out and I'm like, ah, ha, 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 because it feels so good and people think I murdered someone. I was like, what did she confess? Look at her crying, oh my gosh, you know, she must have done something real bad. But I just feel so good. I feel like, yes, I'm, I'm clean slate, clean slate. Of course, I have to go to my seat with blinders on so I don't sin on my way to my seat, you know. <laughs> but that's what Christian hope can give us. It can give us this cleansing power. Because lack of hope leads to depression, a flat emotion, disorientation, lack of energy, and an impaired ability just to get off the couch and live your life. Christian hope promises far more than just an antidote to depression. It reorients the entire direction of a person's life. If you were to have asked me in December of 2007 why I weighed 370, I would have said, I'm depressed. I'm depressed. Now, in January of 2008, did I go on some miracle antidepressant? Did I go and see a psychiatrist three times a week? No, I started praying off a whole new direction in my life. I got off the couch, I started moving more, eating less. Wow, I'm not depressed anymore. Now, I'm not saying there's people with clinical depression. I'm just talking weight loss depression. The best cure for being fat depression is losing weight and keeping it off. Hope is alive when you start seeing things change. And here's where we get in trouble. You're hopeful. You join Pray It Up. I'm doing good. I lost two pounds. I'm doing good. I lost a pound. I'm doing good. I stayed the same. I'm doing bad. I gained three pounds. I'm do, doing bad. I gained two pounds. Then you give up. Then you quit. And you go, I knew I was right. I knew this wouldn't work because I'm hopeless. I can't do this, I never could do this, I never will be able to do this. Christian Hope says that we will be stronger with our faith in Christ, that we can leave some of the problems of the world and depend on Him. Same thing with the weight loss. Fix your, fix your hope completely on the grace brought to you at the revelation of Christ. If we constantly think about Christ, we will become stronger in our faith, and stronger in our faith, we will be able to tackle some of our problems, one of which is our weight. One of the things I also want to mention is John 15, 5. Anything that God calls upon us to do that helps our spiritual growth can only be done with his empowerment. God can empower us to lead healthier lives. Because we're better for Him. Aren't we better for God? Don't we show a better witness the healthier we are as far as the weight goes? I'm not saying you can't have an illness and still be a good witness. The blessed hope of Christians both gives an incentive to rid our lives of anything that is sinful and gives us something to fix our minds upon so that evil and destructive thinking has no place to take root. If you're sitting there praising God and, and, and blessing Him for His glory, it's kind of hard to go, I'm a piece of crap, but I love you, God. You're so great. I know I can't lose weight, but amen, I believe. It's more like that whole positivism is contagious. Not only does hope preclude wickedness, it cleanses, up, cleanses us from being tied too tightly to the circumstances of daily life, giving us a stability rooted in the eternal trustworthiness of God. Now, there are people who might, like I remember a, a story about this couple coming to church and they were saying the rosary in the car and they got in a car accident. Now, did they say, can you believe what kind of God would give us a car accident or say the rosary? Or you couldn't be saying a prayer and get up and break your toe. I've heard that happens to certain people. It happened to somebody in the group, and that's why they're laughing. So the thing is, did, did, did she say, I broke my toe saying a prayer? There is no God? No. What it is, is we can't, and this was always my biggest problem. 
I felt like life was too hard to take because there was so many problems. And I would overeat and drink too many beers because I thought it would make it better. Life is still hard and difficult to take. It still is. Me losing weight did not change the difficulties of life. But what it did do was make me stronger, stronger in my faith, give me a hope of transcending this earth and being with all those I love. It does make it easier to lose weight when you stop feeling like you never could. If you're sitting there remembering your Weight Watchers days back in 1980, you got to let it go. Did you lose the weight and keep it off then? No. Can you now? Yes. You've heard witnesses in this group and there will be more witnesses. I'm going to stop there because I want to talk about hope for permanent 